Baby Jack's not mine. The baby's not mine, so. Oh. Well, how long's he been missing for? I don't know, about um, 10 or 15 minutes. Mm. Maybe we should call the police. No, no, look, we'll uh, we'll look for him one more time. You take one side of the street, I'll take the other. Come on, come on. Look, what do you want? Sorry, I'm making you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> you are a bully and a coward. You're a wimp and a loser. OK, gentlemen, let's play nice, yeah? Peter, uh, Leanne's on the phone. What? Uh, in the office. What's your phone here? I mean, she could have phoned me mobile. Yeah, it's on. It's got a good signal, everything. Go on, mate. Go on, see what she wants. She said it was important. Maybe she sees sense and she's decided that I am the best man after all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in your dreams. Oh, uh, need you lot to do me a favour before I go. Mr Mallow, you is our leader. <laughs> I want all them glasses empty by the time I return, yeah? Yay! 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 Oh, and, uh, hang on. Where's Steve? Gone? I don't know. He must have gone with Becky. Is he under her thumb? Right, come on then, Scooby-Doo. Let's solve this mystery. Get him in. Tell him what. We'll miss you, but then I'm sure you'll be back for visits. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, when sometimes things don't work out and you can't go back. But this baby Jack... Hiya. I, uh, just need something for pudding. Oh, help yourself. Um, we're... we're just talking. Uh, that'll be £1.28. But, uh... Are you in a rush? Only after nipping the back for some change. Uh, not really. I'll be one minute. Uh, no problem. I'll be back before your ice cream melts. How are you doing? I tried to phone you. I had my phone off. I've done it. I've left him. So we saw Tyrone in here earlier buying whiskey. How's he doing? Well, he's crushed. I, um, I told him he's not Jack's father. I didn't say it was you. Where are you going to go? Do you care? Of course. About me or the baby? Both. Come with us if you like. I can. Of course you can. Just do it. Take some money out and just leave everything else behind. He nipped out for ice cream and never came home. People have done stranger things. Not me. Well, in that case, just say bye to your son because um, I'm not coming back. You don't mean that. Yeah. I do. Hide and seek. I've got four kids in there, and it may take me some time to find them. I've lost Max. What? <laughs> you haven't seen him, have you? No. He's, um, he's been gone about 20 minutes now. I wish I could help you look for him, but I've got eyes full of kids. Um, I can phone Ashley. No, 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 it's all right. Um, Steve is looking for him. You'll just um, you'll keep an eye out for him, Well, of course you? I will. Becky, let me know when you find him. Max! You will find him. Are you sure you want to risk it? Talking strippers again? Oh, half a dozen drunk women on a hen night. What's the worst that could happen? Well, you might not get out of here alive. Bring him down! No, Nick wouldn't say anything. Well, he looked pretty desperate to me. He knows I'm marrying Peter. So you're not going to do anything? Ken, what do you want me to do? I want you to get over there and stop him. I just want Nick to tell Peter the truth. Sorry, mate. Uh, your wreath was on the floor. Cheers. You've not seen Max, have you? Uh, the fair-haired lad about, so I... No, I've been out, sorry. Well, if you see him, could you let us know? Yeah, sorry. I've got stuff to do. Ah, 
This is Kieran, this in it. I told him no strippers, no surprises. So come on, man. What's he done, eh? He's not done anything. <laughs> Do you think I was born yesterday? I know he's out there plotting something right now. So if I end up on a midnight train to Glasgow in my underpants, I'm going to hold you responsible, right? Peter, trust me. It's nothing like that. So what? I'm sorry, mate, I want to go. Oh, come on, mate, what do you mean? It's still early. I know, I know, I just want to see my wife. I know I'm soft. Oh, I miss her. Pull me here. <laughs> oh. You and Leanne will be brilliant together. I know. They were friends. I know, mate. You, well, you must come and see us. You, Leanne, Simon, will have a great time. I will. Will you promise? You've got to promise, mate. Yes. I promise you. I want to miss you. I want to miss everybody. I know. Oh, sorry about that. I can be so clumsy sometimes. Yeah, me too, me. Just <laughs> Never ever gonna forget you. Every night I'll be hugging my pillow. Max! Max! Kevin!
devastation on the street continues here on ITV1 at 8.30 tomorrow night. Join me, Alastair Stewart, on ITV.com all this week to watch our dramatised news reports from the disaster in Weatherfield with eyewitness footage and interviews from local residents on the scene. Harvey's The Furniture Store, bringing your home to life. I've lost my job. You're not skinny. You've still got the ass. Nothing's mine, is it? 50 grand, that's all I need. Best thing you can give your kids is yourself. We are celebrating me and my son going into...